Hey everybody, welcome to Bodiaki and Wellness. Today we're talking a morning Qigong program. Now as always, if you haven't already, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. So today I'm going to be teaching you about a 20 to 30 minute morning practice that you can do as much as you like. Uh, and because morning is the most yang time of the day, we're going to be focusing our practice on the organs that cultivate and create your chi. Uh, so three of them in particular, the prenatal chi from mom and dad stored in your kidney, and the postnatal chi, the acquired chi that we get from the air we breathe, hence the lungs, and the food we eat hence spleen and stomach. So we're going to be doing those three organs today uh, to tonify your chi and get you ready for your day. Let's get to action. Step the feet slightly wider than shoulder width, bend the knees, tuck the pelvis under, lift from the crown of the head. Let's start with a few cleansing breaths. Take a deep breath in, visualize gathering white light all around your body as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, pulling it down, melting all tension down into the ground. In two. And melt. In three. And melt. In for big belly and out. And in five. And melt. Beautiful. Step your feet together. We're going to place the hands on the knees and we're going to rotate counterclockwise. Keeping the pinky, big toe, and heel evenly on the floor. We're going to rotate nice and easy around. Waking up the joints. Breathing into your stomach, through the nose, out through the mouth. Switch directions. Waking up those six meridians that run through the legs. Beautiful. Now let's step the feet out nice and wide, wider than shoulder width. We're going to lock the knee. We're going to roll the hip. Nice big circle, waking everything up. Nice and gentle. Switch directions. You might hear some creaking or cracking or crunching. The more you do it, the less you'll get it. Beautiful. Let's place the hands behind the back and let's roll the upper body all the way around, waking up that spine. And always using whatever range of motion you can. If you have injuries or limitations, you don't want to cause you any pain. So if you need to use a smaller range, that's totally okay. Let's go the opposite way. Beautiful. Let's do the arms next. We're going to big circle, rolling around. Really relax the shoulder. Mm, feel that sun on your face if you're outside. Probably doing this inside, but oh, I can feel that beautiful Sunday morning sun. Switch directions. Nice and relaxed. Beautiful. And relaxing the shoulders, let's roll around the elbows. You know, I love being in my backyard on a Sunday morning. I'm 
so privileged and grateful to have this little space that I can, little slice of nature that I can call my own. Such a gift. Switch directions. It's a lot of work, <laughs> but definitely the labor of love, that's for sure. Beautiful. Let's finish off with the neck, gently rolling it. Get some blood flowing through those muscles. Some chi and blood and oxygen moving through the meridians. And switch. Just a few, more than enough. Just want to wake everybody up so we can get to work. Beautiful. Now that we've woken up the chi, next we wake up the joints. Little cupped hand. We're going to give a nice little tap over the entire body. Wake up that chi. And where there's more meat, give it a harder slap. <laughs> Little extra time on the knees. And a little extra time on the lower back. So you just want to take a make an okay sign and just tap your lower back here. I'm gonna wake up those kidneys a little bit before we get into action. Stimulate that jing, the essence for mom and dad, the spark that ignites your chi. Beautiful. Okay, and one last one. Let's do a little trembling horse. Let's start with the left hand. Give it a little spin. Shake everything up. Get any of that tension out. Let's add in the right hand. Really nice, relaxed practice. Just these warm-ups, wonderful way to, if you're not doing anything else, just to get the body moving. Wonderful for anxiety, actually. Just getting the chi moving a little bit. All that overthinking tends to stagnate the chi. Let's get the arms in now, elbows. Really relaxed and loose. And now the shoulders shake. <laughs> and now let's shake from the waist and shake everything totally loose. Really relaxed. Beautiful, let's step together and let's take a few cleansing breaths. Just three, breathing in and out. In and out. Last one, gather that light and melt. So nice. Okay, so let's get into action. So as I said, we're going to be going through three organs today. First one we're going to start with is that prenatal chi, the foundation of all of our energy and life force in our body, our kidneys. Um, but before that, we got to actually wake up the spine a little bit. And we're going to actually focus a little bit on those kidneys right off, uh, off the bat, even before we get to the tonification exercise. So we're going to start very easy with what's called drumming the chi. And we're just going to twist the body and give a little swing to the arms, really relaxed. And this is all through the waist. The arms are totally relaxed and just giving a little pat to your ribs and to your lower back, really, really relaxed. And just this twisting motion gives a little bit of compression, a little bit of massage to those kidneys, to the liver, to the spleen, all those abdominal organs, your digestive tract also wakes up the spine, gets that energy flowing. Nice and easy, just a few more. Really relaxed arms. So good. Okay, now, before we tonify the organ, we're going to do a little cleansing, a cleaning of the meridian. And we're going to use a visualization for this. So wherever our hand runs over the body, I want you to visualize beautiful white light moving over that tissue, 
clearing any stagnations, healing that organ, and of course, healing the meridian. So we're gonna start with the kidney and the urinary bladder, which are paired channels. So it's a really long breath. So we're gonna take a breath in. We're gonna breathe out, going all the way down to the inside of the foot. And now we're gonna breathe in and we're gonna trace up the rear portion of the inside of the leg up to the center of the body where we're gonna to connect to the bladder channel of the eye and we're gonna breathe out as we pull it down over the back of the head and the entire back of the body, seeing that white light go down the hamstrings, calves, all the way down to the pinky toe. And let's go again, white light comes up, breathing in. And white light goes down, breathing out. White light comes up. White light goes down. Breathing in through the nose. Breathing out. Breathing in. Now, since this practice is for tonifying chi, if you can, I want you to breathe in and out through your nose. This has more of a tonifying effect. If you can't, if you have high blood pressure, if you have issues, you can always breathe out through the mouth, no problem. But if you can, in through the nose and out through the nose. And out. Let's do just two more. And out. Last one. And out. Beautiful. We're going to step our feet a little bit wider, just a touch. We're going to hang out here for our tonification exercise called falling water. We're going to be taking a breath here, shifting our weight left and right, back and forth. And as we shift to the right, we're going to reach our hands in a circle, breathing in. And as we come back to center, shifting left, we'll breathe out. Relax the spine, breathing in. Getting that nice dynamic stretch in the back of the legs and the inner thigh, hitting both the kidney and the bladder channel. Breathing in to the right, breathing out to the left. Breathing in, reach, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in to the right, breathing out to the left. And you may notice that you're slowly getting lower as you shift, as your hamstrings wake up, as your lower back and paraspinals wake up, as the blood and oxygen moves through that whole posterior compartment. Everything starts to wake up. Breathing in and breathing out. Let's do one more to the right, breathing in. And last one to the left, breathing out. Now slowly rolling up, breathing in, head is last. Big circle around and breathing out. Okay, next we're gonna step our feet in and we're gonna to move to our lung channel. So we're gonna have our right hand down. We're gonna clear any stagnations in that lung channel first. Remember, we're looking for that natural air, that kong chi, that, that energizing gas that is gonna breathe in the life of the planet and energize our body. 
So let's clear the meridians first. Lung and large intestine, the paired channel. So right hand down, left hand, we're gonna breathe in, lifting up. And then we're gonna breathe out. Remember, white light, visualizing down the outside of the bicep, inside, front portion of the forearm, down to the thumb and first finger. And we turn the hand over, breathing in, white light up, the front portion of the outside of the forearm, outside of the bicep to the shoulder and chest. We'll drop the left, lift the right, breathing out. Once again, white light down the radial side or the thumb side of the forearm, breathing out and breathing in. Now, as opposed to the tonification exercises, when we do the meridian cleanse, we want to breathe in through the nose and breathing out through the mouth. This is going to purge and tonify the meridian. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Seeing that white light come up the large intestine channel. Seeing that white light go down the lung. Breathing in, front portion of the outside of the arm and bicep over the shoulder. Breathing out, front portion of the outside of the bicep. Then front portion of the inside of the forearm down to the thumb and first finger. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Let's do one more. Breathing out. Breathing in. Once we get to the shoulder, left hand comes up. And breathing out. Beautiful. We're going to step our feet back out. We're going to go to our lung tonifying exercise. Remember, this time we're going to be going breathing in and out through the nose, if, we, if at all possible. We're going to bring our hands up to shoulder height. Relax shoulders, tuck the pelvis under. And here we're going to get a nice little bit of thoracic movement through the shoulder blade. Really, really necessary first thing in the morning to open up those shoulders and get everybody functioning. So we're going to breathe in and we're going to arch the back. And as we breathe out, we're going to tuck the pelvis under, rounding the back, and we're going to squeeze your inner thighs together as we breathe out. Hands come together, but don't touch. Breathing in, arch the back. Breathing out, cave and round the back, squeeze the inner thigh. In, arch, out. Cave and squeeze. In. Open up that chest. Breathing out. Breathing in. Arch. Breathing out. Tuck the pelvis round the back. Now through the nose if you can. Keeping a light smile on the face. Just a few more. One last breath. Beautiful, step the feet in. 
and out. Okay, so for our final exercise, we're moving to our spleen and stomach. This is Gucci, the food we eat. Uh, and this time of the day, between 5 a.m. And, and 11 a.m., basically, uh, there's more chi in all the digestive organs. So this is a great time to really strengthen and work them. But in this exercise, we're actually going to be working the legs uh, quite a bit. So it's really great to get your metabolism revved up and sped up, burn some extra calories, and definitely get you moving for the day. But first, as always, we're going to clear the meridian. So. Feet slightly wider than shoulder width. Once again, we're going down to the big toe. Deep breath in and out. We're going to connect to the inside of the big toe. We're going to breathe in, coming up the middle portion of the inside of the leg. Cross into the outside of the hip, over the chest. And over the chest, we're going to turn the hands down. As we breathe out, we're going to go down the stomach channel, down the sides of the tummy, crossing out the hip to the outside of the thigh and all the way down over the outside of the thigh, down to the second and third toe. Once again, white light coming up. Over the hip, sides of the body. Turn the hands down, breathing out. Lead that chi down, cleansing and clearing the meridians. Breathing in through the nose. Breathing out through the mouth. Breathing in. Cross the outside of the hip, over the ribs. Breathing out. Cross the hip once again, down the outside of the thigh and shin. In through the nose, white light comes up. Breathing out through the mouth, white light goes down. Let's do two more. Breathing in. And out. Last one. Breathing in. And breathing out. Slowly roll the spine up. And breathing out. Step your feet together. So for our final exercise, we're going to go through transforming earth. So we're going to turn the right foot out. We're going to step the left heel forward. So all the weight is now into the right leg, nice and deep. You want to load up and feel that right leg. We're going to cave, relax our body into a nice yin posture, relaxing the wrist as we sit back, breathing in and out. Now we're going to breathe in. Open up the chest, shifting your weight forward. Squeeze your shoulder blades, all your weight in your left leg. Breathing out, sink back so all the weight is in the right leg, drop. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, and out, breathing in, and out. in and out. This time as we breathe in, we're going to step up. I'm going to step the left foot back, breathing out. So we're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. Breathing in, shift forward, open the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades. Breathing out, sink back. In. out and in and out and in and out and in 
and out. Let's do one more breathing in and out. Step the foot back, breathing in, cleansing breath. And out. So nice. Well, now that we've tonified all the different organs, we're going to balance the chi. So we're going to step our feet together and we're going to fill in any holes in that Wei Chi field that we may have. So uh, about shoulder width with the feet. We're going to breathe in, crossing the midline, lift up. At the lung, we're going to hold the breath and retain and we're going to pull away, pulling anything sad, sick or gray out of the lung. And then we're going to turn it over and transform it, transmute it into beautiful white light, filling in any holes that may be in your Wei Chi field as you breathe out. And again, breathing in, hold the breath, pull out, turn it over, breathing out, filling in any holes. Go again, breathing in, retain the breath. Now let's turn 45 to the right, breathing out, filling in 45 in front and behind. Turn back to the center, breathing in, retain the breath, 45 left, breathing out. Breathing in, retain, turning 90 right, breathing out. Breathing in, retain, breathing out. Do two more straight ahead, breathing in, retain, breathing out. Last one, breathing in, retain, breathing out. Step the feet together. Let's finish off with a few cleansing breaths. Deep breath in, visualize gathering a white light all around the body as you breathe in. As you breathe out, pull it down, filling the body, melting all tension down into the ground. In two. And melt. Three. four, gather, and melt, last breath, as slowly as possible, gather the light, and pulling it down, melting over your body, at the bottom, let's Lift up a little wisdom water of the kidney. And at the heart, wash down the heart fire. Twice more, gather. Compressing it down. Last one, lifting up. And compress. So well done. Well, listen, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, this morning practice can be used as much as you like. Do it every morning if you like. Next week, we're going to be doing our evening practice, which is going to be focused on blood production and blood movement around the body. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Of course, make sure you check out BodhiMedicalQigong.com, our wonderful new website. This is a wonderful healing portal to help you heal anything, whether it's internal, external, uh, uh, mental wellness, whatever the case may be. We got something for you. I'm adding new content every single week. So. Once again, do me a favor, share this video with your friends, your family, help me to help other people. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.